Hey, Anthony here with another lesson from the Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory series. In this video, I'll cover Unit 5, Lesson 20. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a new video. There is an index with links in the description so you can easily find the lessons you need. I highly recommend that you own a copy of this book and are only watching this video to check your work, review, or because you got really stuck on something. Okay, let's get right into it. Um, today we're talking about articulation in Lesson 20. Uh, the previous pages, 28 and 29, introduced the words and signs that indicate what speed, slow to fast, and volume, soft to loud, a musical selection is to be played. In addition, notes may be performed in different ways. The manner in which a note is performed is called articulation. Legato, see page 19, is one form of articulation. So here we have the Italian word staccato. It looks like that. It's a little dot right below or above the, the note, uh, the note head. In English, that means to play the note short and detached. The Italian word means detached. And this word accent, it's got it kind of looks like a little arrow or greater than or less than symbol. Uh, play the note louder with a special emphasis. Okay, uh, forzando is SF or SFZ, a sudden strong accent. The Italian word means forcing. Uh, tenuto looks like that. It's a little kind of like hyphen or underscore, um, either above or below the note. Uh, hold the note for its full value. The Italian word means held. Fermata looks like that. It's like a bird's eye is kind of one of the common things it's referred to. Uh, it means to hold the note longer than its normal value, approximately twice the normal duration. Usually fermatas are kind of, it's not necessarily twice the normal duration. It's whatever the director decides or whatever, whoever's leading the band, if you're in a band. Um, you'll see fermatas most common at the end of music or or like in the middle of music during major transitions. You might see it at the top of music too, but I think fermatas are most commonly found at the end of music. All right, let's flip this and get into the exercises. Okay, number one, name the articulation symbols below. So this is just getting you a little bit more familiar with it. Um, obviously, these are on the other side of my page or at the top of your page. So number one, that little dot, we just went over it. That is staccato. Um, this right here, that's going to be an accent. This symbol is going to be a fermata. This here, that's going to be tenuto, that little underscore. And this SF or SFZ, that's the Fort Sando. And there we go, that's it. All right, so for number two, say the following examples using the syllables T for eighth notes, TA for quarter notes, TA for half notes, TA for dotted half notes, and TA for whole notes. Observe all tempo markings, dynamics, and other musical symbols. So we're going to try that. Okay, so remember, staccato, these are nice short notes. Okay, and then here, so it looks like we've got some staccato quarter notes, some staccato eighth notes, and a nice long half note. And this is all done at piano, so nice and quiet. And then here we've got just regular notes, boom, 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 all the way to those fermata at the end, which will hold out a little bit longer with the crescendo, so it'll be getting louder here, going from piano all the way up to forte. So let's give it a try. One and two and ta, 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 ta. Ta 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 ta. Right. So I held it a little bit longer than uh, a full two beats. Um, 
that works better if you count. So I'd highly recommend trying to count along with what I did or you throw a metronome on that has counting and go ahead and count along with that. Okay, so again, if you remember, uh, so we, it looks like we got some tenuto here. And if you remember what tenuto means, it means hold for its full value, the Italian word meaning held. Okay, and then we've got some accents. So short, 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 boom, a big accent on that dotted half note. Then we've got some short little notes here going up to a crescendo, some, t some tenuto notes at forte um, all the way to the end. Uh, and I will do my best. I can't promise this will be perfect. Here we go. Starting off at a normal volume, that's a forte. Here I go. I'll go one, two, one, two, one, two, three. I'll go that tempo. Here we go. One, two, three. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Off. Right? Um, not perfect, but should give you a general sense of the rhythm. And uh, again, counting or tapping is super important when you're learning to read, re learn when you're learning to read n notes and and rhythms. And and you can go ahead and play these examples on your own. Like if you're a clarinet player, try playing through these examples. It's a great way to work on your articulations. Um, you know, just on one note. So that way you don't also have to worry about fingerings. You don't have to worry about um, different different notes and your embouchure maybe a little bit. Um, but, you know, just practicing those articulations on one rhythm really helps. Sorry, on one note. Um, one of the reasons that I'm probably not as great at these articulations as I could be is I'm, I, I, I don't know how often I mention this, but I'm primarily... Uh, drum set player so um, you know articulations like tenuto are, are, are things that we don't really have to deal with that often as drummers so um, if you really want to get these articulations figured out the way they should be I would check with like a, an experienced horn player or an experienced string player or somebody who actually handles those types of articulations regularly um, and the last one uh, so remember, Fort Sando means a sudden strong accent. Um, usually when I see Fort Sandos, uh, they kind of sting right away, like boom, with a big loud sound and then immediately shrink back down. So that's what I'm going to do here because that's kind of how I learned how to do a Fort Sando. So here we go, starting at Forte, Fort Sando half note, quarter note, half note, and we're just staying at Forte through all of this. Then we got some tenuto markings here, and we're gonna get gradually quieter till the end with that decrescendo there. One, two, three, four. Ta 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 ta. Three, four. Ta 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 ta. Sure, let's call that good. Anyway. There you have it, Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, Unit 5, Lesson 20. Please like this video and subscribe. Click the links to watch the next lesson or jump ahead to the Unit 5 review.